The manhunt for Ethan Couch intensifies, but there's still no sign of him or his mother since at least early December. Couch is on 10 years probation after using the affluenza defense for killing four in a drunk driving crash in 2013. Tips have poured in. Even more came in last night after we broadcast a picture of the truck the mother and son could be in right now. Law enforcement experts say how long they can stay free depends on how much help they might be getting. Fox 4 Sean Rabb has our story. Ethan Couch, now a fugitive with help from his mother. Were you surprised that they ran, Gil? Yeah, I was. Gil Wilson worked as a Dallas police officer and district attorney investigator. He feels Tanya Couch knew her son would be arrested for probation violation when video surfaced allegedly showing Ethan at a beer pong party. I believe that this was just a uh, spur of the moment decision. They weren't thinking about it. Um, the video came out and they just panicked. The mom panicked. And while it's difficult, it certainly has happened before. There have been people wanted by law enforcement who somehow have been able to seemingly disappear into thin air. You have to divest yourself of credit cards, debit cards, bank accounts, family, friends, everything. Um, that's probably the only way you can really do this. But there are people who have committed crimes and who have disappeared for many, many years. Former Cockrell Hill Police Chief Catherine Smith Torres runs her own PI firm. The FBI's most wanted list filled with fugitive faces who've been on the run for years, for more than a decade, including North Texan Yasser Abdel Saeed, implicated in the murders of his daughters, not seen since January 2008. That's a different time. Um, that was long before social media. It's long before you have cameras on every street corner, going in every gas station, every Walmart. You are going to be on camera. The couches don't have urban survival skills or criminal world connections. He's not a sympathetic person. Um, he's not a political person. He's not a criminal, so he doesn't have a criminal. Uh, uh, he doesn't have a criminal element to go to where he can just knock on doors and there's going to be safe houses or people are going to give him money. They do have money that could buy them a seat on the Fugitive Underground Railroad. A woman who is not engaged in, in the criminal element on a day to day basis, they can walk into one of those bars and for the right amount of money, you can get just about anything you want because they're highly networked all across the nation and they know someone who knows someone. Both Wilson and Smith Torres believes the Couch case has an expected end. I totally believe that Ethan Couch will be returned to Tarrant County. Whether it takes a week or a year, he will be found. Now, the pair of private investigators feel certain the money will dry up or the couches, especially Ethan, will slip up. And investigators will eventually catch up with Ethan and his mother. $5,000 reward money waiting for the right phone call or email to the Tarrant County Sheriff's Department. Steve? Okay, Sean Rabb, thank you.